I grew up on a farm in Namibia. I learned to drive when I was 10. What? <laughs> I've been driving off-road cars all my life. Hi, I'm Leonie von Hase, Miss Germany 2020. The new Miss Germany 2020, Leonie von Hase. Today, I would like to introduce you to the new Mercedes-Benz GLB, which is a completely new member to the brand's SUV range. Welcome to Berlin. What's your favorite movie? Fast and Furious, but I'm always so excited about it. Oh, I like that one too. On the checklist today, we have the interior and seventh seating because this car is all about usability. It's designed just like a love child between a G-Class and a GLS. The way it drives on and off-road. The cockpit and MBUX. The comfort inside. And the safety and assistance systems. For me, driving a 4x4 brings back so many memories. I grew up on a farm in Namibia and we needed off-roaders to get anywhere. In fact, I actually learned how to drive in one when I was 10. Obviously, none of the ones that we had were quite as fancy as this one. My first impression of the GLB, the cabin is huge. The windshield is massive. The windows are big and it makes it feel really light and airy. But my personal favorite is the higher seating position of the driver's seat and it makes me feel like I have a really good vantage point on the traffic. What I find so practical about this car is the fact that you can seat up to seven people in it at the same time. If you have a large family, you could order the optional third seat row, which can seat people up to 1.68 meters in it. You can access it by shifting the second row into this position. And you can even mount up to four children's seats in here. Isn't that fantastic? With the second seat row folded down, this car becomes a real cargo champion, which for me means throwing all my antique hauls in the back or going to the nursery and picking up some new plants and some garden soil. And the secret behind it is this boxy shape in the rear, because you really can't beat a boxy shape. And you don't have to wrestle with the boot door anymore. It opens and closes electronically for you now. All you have to do is kick here. And finally, there's one more way to maximize the spacious feeling of the car. The sunroof is so large, it makes me feel like I'm driving a convertible. The infotainment systems in the new Mercedes-Benz cars are just some of the best I've seen so far. And obviously this applies to the GLB as well. This is called the digital widescreen cockpit. And I really love how this futuristic look just blends into the classical backdrop of the car. Inside you have the MBUX, which stands for Mercedes-Benz user experience. And you can access it via the touchpad down here, the touchscreen up here, or the touch control buttons on the steering wheel. And you can talk to it, which is incredible. All you have to say is, hey Mercedes. What can I do for you? What's your favorite movie? Fast and Furious, but I'm always so excited about it. Oh, I like that one too. I'm hungry. Where's the next vegetarian restaurant? Select an entry, please. Clever. Number one. Start navigation. Route guidance is starting. You're very smart. Thank you, that's so sweet. My pleasure. This is the augmented reality for navigation, a perfect helper in complex traffic situations. It brings the real world into the MBUX for an immersive experience. Check it out. Directions, signs, POIs and street names pop up in the real life camera picture in the display. So you always have an immediate orientation. 
The navigation even includes live traffic information, which is a real-time representation of the situation on the street, always giving you the best route. And once again, the controls are at your fingertips on the steering wheel. Now let's take a look at the exterior of the new GLB. I can't get over how Mercedes-Benz managed to create a car this practical, yet this good looking. It's almost like it's gotten its off-road jeans from one of the big G models. Overall, it is 4.63 meters long, about the length of the first M-Class from 1997. I love the strong design details on this car, like the power dome on the hood or the AMG apron down below. It really gives the car a very sporty and tough twist, but there is no shortage of chrome details either, like this radiator grille that has these shiny pins or the chrome trim on the body lines and the window framings. In the dark, you can trust these multi-beam LED headlights to turn night to day. They make the GLB look quite friendly, don't you think? Want to join me for a ride? The engine on the GLB 250 runs so smoothly. It's a turbocharged petrol engine with 165 kilowatts that just perfectly balances power and efficiency, which is really all you could want for your everyday driving. Overall, this SUV just runs remarkably stable, even in tight corners. And the steering is great as well because it's light yet precise. The key to what makes the GLB such a comfortable cruiser is its smooth shifting. It has an 8-gear automatic transmission. The next gear is already pre-selected so you can accelerate faster without interruption and more efficiently. But if you like the feeling of shifting gears manually, then you can just use the paddles on the side of the steering wheel. The GLB suspension is equipped with an adjustable damping which makes you feel comfortable and secure in the car at all times. Now, let's dig a little deeper. With this switch down here, you can choose five different drive programs. Individual, Sport, Comfort, Eco, and Off-Road. The drive programs influence engine, transmission, steering, and more. They give you a broad range from sporty to comfort, and it's just like having multiple characters in one car. The most fun for me is, of course, the off-road setting. Let's take a little detour, shall we? love driving off-road. When you choose the GLB 4MATIC all-wheel drive, you get improved traction and driving stability, especially on snow and light off-road terrain. Plus, it comes with an off-road engineering package, which contains many little helpers. One of these is the downhill speed regulation, which helps you in downhill situations. It automatically pre-selects a slow speed and carries out targeted braking. I'm gonna show you now. So, the DSR downhill speed regulation has been selected and I have put it on five kilometers per hour. 
Let's go! I can take my foot off the accelerator and off the brake and just enjoy the bumpy ride. Ha! It's like magic! I learned to drive when I was 10 and uh, I've been driving off-road cars all my life, so this is really exciting for me. Hey, Mercedes. How may I help you? You're very clever. Thank you. It's because I'm inspired by you. What a team. <laughs> and we've made it to the bottom. For tricky maneuvers or tight corners, there is a 360 degree function, which I find super helpful, which gives you a very clear view of your surroundings. Now that you've seen the car drive on and off-road, I would like to know from you what is your favorite setting. Maybe you can let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, I think I need to get this car washed. I think a more relaxing place is hard to find in Berlin. Well, I can think of one more and it's right behind me. To help you stay fit and focused, the GLB has the energizing package. And the idea behind it is that you don't get distracted by any discomforts while you're driving so that you can really arrive relaxed and refreshed. It contains several energizing comfort programs. They are different 10 minute long programs which adjust climate control, ambient lighting, music and seat functions such as heating or massage. To complete this mobile wellness parlor, the GLB spoils us with these multi-contour seats and they can even be heated or cooled down on a hot day. And I've just figured out that I can charge my phone wirelessly. When I'm packing up my family to go on holiday, I am guaranteed to forget one thing every time, and that is my charging cable. Finally, we have a couple of really smart systems in our GLB that have all made their way from the S-Class. They reduce the risk of accidents, so passengers and road users are effectively protected. This way, you are able to reach your destination safe and sound. Most important to me is the Active Distance Assist Distronic. It acts as a super smart cruise control because it can automatically maintain a desired distance to the car in front of me. On top of it, the speed limit assist detects and automatically observes speed limits. And it is fed by a live traffic information, so it can actually slow down for a tailback before you even see it. But as always, you, the driver, have the final say. The active steering assist helps the driver to keep the vehicle in the center of its lane. This works on straight roads, in slight bends and on highways by gently turning the steering wheel. The active braking assist helps with the distance warning or autonomous emergency braking to prevent crashes. This works with cars, bicycles or pedestrians ahead if the driver fails to respond. Parking in urban and metropolitan areas can be such a pain, but it is a pain made easier with the parking package, which includes a 360 degree camera. This bird's eye view makes parking so easy. The blind spot assist is still working for three minutes after you have parked. 
If the assistant senses that there are bicycles or pedestrians in the danger zone, it warns you not to open your doors yet because you can never be sure who passes in your area. I've had a super lovely day testing the new GLB, but sadly it has come to an end. Perhaps you could let me know which features of this car you enjoyed the most in the comments below, or if you'd like me to test any other models for you next time. If you'd like any more information on new Mercedes-Benz models, click over here. And for more content, over here. And don't forget to subscribe. I hope to see you later, guys. Bye.